Alright, hey YouTube and welcome back to Diva Styles. Today I'm going to be doing a quick video, pretty much going over um, different techniques uh, that you can use and different things that you can use for your text as well as um, pictures. Uh, for example, um, this is my Rainbow Dash uh, chip bag that I have. And as you can see, um, because it, it took me a long time to figure out how to do different things with the text and to play around with it so i'm just going to tell you guys how to get certain effects okay for example um like right here on the happy birthday as you can see it is um kind of you know shaped in a circle let me go to a plain one y'all know i always have a bunch of tabs open um okay to pretty much get your um to shape your your words you can go to let's say you want it in a circle. Let's say you want your words to shape in a circle. Okay, now let's go to insert. Let's go to text. And okay, happy birthday. And of course, it's just going to be straight. So let's say, for example, we want this to be in a circle. Okay, what you're going to want to do. Make sure you click on your text, go to change shape, and any one of these right here is, um, you can pretty much change the, the shape to. That's, that's pretty much how that works. Yeah, you can go down on the shape, you can go... Or let's see, let's see what else. Or you could do, um, you can also use these. Um, yeah, like if you wanted to get like a ribbon effect, that as well. So many things that you can do. Um, another thing that you could do with your letters, this is my glow party chip bag. Um, to give your letters um, a glowing effect. Uh, let's come back to here to give your letters uh, that glow effect you can go to what would you go to <laughs> shape feel and go to um, how did I do that hold on y'all even sometimes I forget how I did stuff okay yes go to shape effects and go to glow and then these are the different um, the different stages like this it's just glowing a little bit, not really a lot. Let's go back to glow again. And if you want it to really glow, you could do like that. And you can also change the color of the glow. So if you go to glow and you go to uh, more glow colors, they are down here. You can create, you know, custom ones, different ones. And there you have glowing letters. Okay, let's take glow off. Um, another effect you can do is uh, the reflection effect. Some people really like that. Uh, let me see what else. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Another one that I was trying to figure out for the longest time. I was like, oh, my gosh, how do people do that? Is to get your letters to... Um, have glitter in it you know i've had so many customers request that be like you know i want my glitters blinging i'm like oh girl i don't know how to do that but you don't tell them that you just go and you figure it out i always be like okay yeah and then i go and i figure out how to do it now um <clears throat> to do that you right click on your um your word no 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 do not right click on your word go to format and go to shape fill. This is where you can um, pretty much choose a color to fill in your letters. And instead of choosing a color, this is the way I do it. I go to picture. And I go to browse. I have a ton of pictures, you guys. So you got to excuse me. But um, hold on, y'all. Let me go to my downloads. And then from there, you can pick any picture of your choice. And that picture will be fit inside of your words. 
Now, if they want gold, you know, glitter, then of course I went to Google and I Googled in gold glitter, which is how I got some of these images. And so I just click on my gold glitter. And it's going to take that and it's going to fill in the words with gold glitter. So as you can see right there, the words look like gold glitter. Like I said, you can you can play around with it and um Oh goodness. Yes, you can play around with it and do, you know, different effects, I guess, to let's see another picture. Let's try silver. Silver glitter. Oops, I filled the wrong in one in, y'all. Well, let me try this one more time. Okay, now let's click on the words and do the words. Pub, okay. Yes, now let's go to picture. Let's go to silver glitter. I'm going to use the second one. And now the words are filled with silver glitter. And that's how you can get um, some of those different effects. Uh, also to go over some pictures because some picture images that you download uh, may have a background. As for example, this lollipop here that I use. I'm going to go ahead and go to my pictures. <laughs> That's my son, Noah. <laughs> and go down to um, where that image is. Okay, right here. As you can see, that picture does have a background. What you want to do for pictures with that is you go over here and go to recolor. Go down to set transparent color and click on the white because that's what we want to take out. And there you go. You no longer have that, that background in the way. And I did this also for her as well because she had a background. Um, and another thing on my, um, on my, uh, goodness, what is it? Sesame Street, uh, baby shower chip bag. Also, um, another thing that you can do, hold on, let me take you back to the plain one first just to show you. Okay, let's say, for example, a picture is too big for me to use. So I go to pictures, or it's not the way that I want to use it. Go to downloads. Let me try to find a good one. Okay, um, Okay, let's just take this one. It's stripes. Okay. Okay, let's say I wanted my background to be stripes. But I didn't want all of these stripes. And I just didn't want them to repeat themselves this many times. Um, Something else that you can also do is go to crop. And cut the image down to exactly where you want it. And you now only have the stripes that you wanted to start with. Which is why it brings me back to the Sesame Street bag. Because um, this image right here with Big Bird, Cookie Monster, and Oscar had a lot more um, characters than what you see. Uh, let me see if I, go, if I click on it and go to Format and go to Crop. Nice. Take the full picture back, you can see the rest of the characters. But I did not want to use those, so I just I took them out. Which is what I'm trying to tell you, you can do as well. You can edit a picture to your your liking. Or if there's only a certain amount of the picture that you want to use, don't worry. Still download the image off of, you know, off of Google and use it and just Cut it down to what you need it to be. Um, I'm trying to think. What else can I show you guys real quick? Um, um, 
Okay, uh, let's see. <coughs> yes, another thing. Um, let's see. If we do go to pictures. Okay, yeah, because I know sometimes my pictures do this. Abby, come here, Abby. Let me see. And if you go to recolor and you go to the transparent thing again, look at that. Now, do y'all see how if I take her over here, her eyes are gone. She's pretty much blending into the background. Her eye color is changing to whatever, you know, whatever the letter is or whatever the color is in the back. Um, to fix that or what I do, because you do run into that sometimes, well, a lot of times, is uh, I just go to insert, I go to shapes, and I pretty much make you know, I just go ahead and make the little girl two little eyeballs, and then we call it a day. And you sit that backwards, and you see how now her eye is white. Easy fix because I don't want you guys to try it, and then you're like, oh my gosh. Why is her eyeballs white? This did not work. <laughs> it is an easy fix. You can easily, you know, put some white in the background and the image is good as new. Um, if you have any questions or something that you would like me to touch on, uh, please feel free to ask or let me know and I will try to uh, go over it or answer, you know, write you back as soon as possible. Um... One thing that I think that I will do um, is uh, make another video pretty much actually designing a chip bag, adding things in and letting you guys see it uh, firsthand on. But I just wanted to throw some different uh, techniques out there just so you guys can go ahead and get started because I know that was something that I wish somebody would have done for me when I first started. But... Um, Yes, please comment, share. I love to hear from you guys. Um, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.